Hey guys, so today is Saturday, March 11th. We are in Dallas right now. We have been trying to get to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the last two days. It's really our bad for trying to fly standby during spring break. Everything's full. Everything's oversold by like, t everything's oversold. There's people on the standby list. It's crazy. So since it all goes by seniority, some people have been able to get on, some people haven't been able to get on, and there's four of us traveling, so um, I guess rookie mistake, right? So we ended up renting a car, and now we are driving from Dallas to Orlando to try to get on that Puerto Rico flight to catch our cruise. Luckily, we bought insurance for our cruise, so if we don't get on our cruise for whatever reason, we get our money back. It's going to be a shame, but at least we'll find something to do in Orlando. So. finally made it to Orlando. After 18 hours, we finally made it to Orlando. It's 6.48 a.m. So we drove non-stop. We just traded off. Like, I drove all day and then he drove all night. And then the last three hours, I drove yeah. so he can sleep. But we have to go return the rental car, go back to the airport and then see if we can make it on that Orlando San Juan flight. And so it's 3.22 and we are not in San Juan. We are not on a ship on our way to the Virgin Islands. We were not able to get on any flight whatsoever to get to Puerto Rico. We tried all day. We were at the airport for a long time and nothing happened. So, I mean, that's what we get for not purchasing a ticket. You know, we pretty much took a risk by fl flying standby during spring break, but um, I didn't really show the footage because it was very stressful just de dealing with all of that and it was very packed because it's spring break. So everybody, is going on vacation right now so we are in a hotel right now we are in Orlando still so we are going to spend the night here get some rest probably go get some dinner or something and then tomorrow try to go to Guatemala to visit my family well my husband's side of the family and spend some time with them because the loads are wide open so the flight is wide open there's like 30 open seats so we have to go to Fort Lauderdale and then Guatemala and well we don't know how long we're gonna be there for but we'll be there for a, a few days so we're pretty much celebrating my birthday I turned 26 on the 8th of March and then my little sister-in-law is graduating high school and since she's gonna be valedictorian we pretty much decided to celebrate both things together so we'll see what we come up with in Guatemala but take it from me guys do not travel standby during spring break and if you're going on a cruise don't travel the day of give yourself a few days because you never know what could happen even if you have a confirmed seat I've seen people have to miss their cruise because they leave the day of and then something happens and you know they miss their cruise so yeah and ladies and gentlemen our flight time over to guatemala is two hours and 20 minutes thank you for your attention and welcome aboard
crossing the border going to El Salvador. Hey guys, so I made it to El Salvador. We are in uh, this resort called the Cameron. It's in um, El Salvador. If you followed me around, you know that I was born in El Salvador. So it's nice to be in my country, in the motherland where I was born. So we are in an all-inclusive resort. We are here for about three days and then we're gonna go back to Guatemala and hang out and then go back to the states so i was bummed about not going on the cruise like it was very stressful this whole thing to just try and try and try to get on flights and not be able to but i mean that's what we get for trying to travel standby on spring break so we are going to relax and hang out with my in-laws and my husband's part of the family is from guatemala and i am from el salvador like i said so we are just going to relax and make the most of it, or make the best of it. Um, so it's almost like we're on the cruise. It's all inclusive, everything's included, we're by the beach, right? Except we're not on a boat. <laughs> but let me show you guys our room. Uh, let me start from here. So this is our restroom, here's a shower, some water bottles, two beds, a TV, another bed, and then here's our view. I don't know if you can see the ocean over there, but maybe you can see it it's over there. No. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can because I want you guys to see the resort and stuff like that. So we are going to go get some dinner and then probably go out to the beach. Living in El Salvador growing up, I used to go to this place that was similar to this. It was called the Soto Beach and this is just gonna remind me of my childhood so I'm really excited to be here. Good morning guys. Huh? Good morning. We, oh it's, oh, wow that's how humid it is. We are going out for breakfast. It's a little humid so the lens got foggy. But Making pupusa. Oh. We got some 
pupusas with platano frito con frijoles and some café con leche. I don't know how it is that I lived here for so long because I can't survive in this kind of weather. This weather, the best way to describe it is like Miami weather. It's hot, it's humid. I feel like it's a little bit more humid though than Miami. But El Salvador and Miami have very similar weather. But. So I'm just laying by the ocean right now because I had uh, I stayed with my son for like three hours by the pool or in the pool so I kind of wanted some like relaxed time and just be able to kind of like not do anything for a little bit and have like a moment of silence so I came to the spa area where it's quiet it's supposed to be really quiet so all you have to do is like listen to the waves I thought I had a bug on me, but yeah, it's, it's been so nice to just relax and be here. Um, we are going to go to dinner after, and let me show you guys. It's just so calm and quiet here. Let me show you. So there's the seat. There's the salt water pool over there. And so the tide is really high right now, so it's kind of like overflowing, which is cool. So there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of tourists here. Um, I didn't know that. There was a lot of tourists that would come to this area. I know my family comes to this resort a lot, uh, but like locals come here, but I didn't know there was a lot of tourists. There's a lot of people from Colombia, a lot of people from Canada, people from the States, and people from like Costa Rica, so like Central America and Guatemala too. So Central America, Colombia, and Canada, there's a lot of them here. I knew El Salvador was famous for the waves and people come here to surf, like if you're really into surfing, but I didn't know that people would actually come to a resort here. But yeah, this is, I, I grew up going to places like this when I lived in El Salvador, so it's kind of nice because it reminds me of my childhood, which is really nice. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. You know, things don't always go as planned, but like we were supposed to be on a ship right now. It was supposed to be a fun day at sea and tomorrow we were gonna be in Barbados, but you know, things happen for a reason. Things happen for a reason. We don't know why. Things don't always go as planned though, so it's always important to make the best of any situation that's presented to you. 
Um, I was kind of upset, but the good thing is that we got insurance for our cruise, so we don't have to worry about losing out on that, which is nice. And then here, here we are, in my country, in the motherland, where I was born, and just relaxing in a resort, so can't really complain, you know? <laughs> We're at the airport right now. We are in Guatemala. We got back from El Salvador yesterday, so we drove from El Salvador to Guatemala, hung out in the capital with some of my husband's family, and now we are at the airport getting ready to go back home. So the flight going to Fort Lauderdale right now is open. There's like nine open seats, and then when we get to Fort Lauderdale, we have to go to Dallas, and that is like negative one, so it's oversold by one, but last night it was oversold, no, it was open. We had like four open seats available, now it's oversold by one. So, in my pass my password isn't working, so I have to, I can't see who's on the standby list. But right now we are just getting some food, waiting for um, the time to board, and then we are going to go, so I just have to fill out the um, custom and immigration forms to leave Guatemala, and then we'll have to fill out the ones going into the United States. So, my husband and son are just getting pollo campero, which is like our KFC here in Central America, except it's not as like processed and stuff, so let me show you. There's a subway, there's a coffee place over there. It's really good. And then, that's where all the checkout, or not the checkout, but the ticket agents are. Got my cappuccino and my pollo campero. Hand. Look. Look. Look, mommy. This is all the handcrafted stuff. And the car. Huh? And the car. Yeah. Okay, but don't touch that, please. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. Look. I it. put coins. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what your mouth one. Yeah. Look at that. And look, can I buy this? Huh? No, you don't need that. Alright, let's go. Look at all the jewelry. The wallets, the shirts. Oh, look at this. Thank you. Oh, look at the dress. Let's show the dress. The masks. Yes. Scary. That's their soccer shirts. Yeah, I like soccer. You do? Yeah. Alright, we, we have to go to the plane now. I'm looking at soccer 